All right, it is time to raise some shell. Here is the Ninja Turtles, the 2012 Nickelodeon Shell Razor. This is what what essentially amounts to the turtle bus or the turtle van or the, you know, their vehicle of transportation throughout the show. Um, we'll get into, uh, let's, let's look around the outside a little bit. It comes in a box about the same width, a little bit shorter, a little bit, actually a little bit taller, but uh, not quite as wide as the final thing. The wheels are all off of it. You have to put all the wheels on. All of the detail here, aside from the green paint and the silver stuff and the black is stickers. Um, so there's a lot of stickers and things that you can apply and, and have fun with uh, when you're putting it together. It takes about eh, 25 minutes to set everything up and get everything all ready and put together. Um, but it's 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 their new uh, new vehicle. It's made. You can see some of the stickers down here have these little subway rails or wheels on it because it is made out of. Uh, Don Tello made this out of an old subway car, um, and you can see it's got some jet engines on the back and some tanks. Um, and you can see that it's got some wheels modified to let it go on the road. And you can see these mechanisms here, which are designed to it can when it's in the underground, it can lift the wheels up and ro ride along the rails. Um, and then when it needs to come up, it can lower the wheels down, pop off the rails, and come up to the surface and transport the turtles around. So it's kind of neat. And it does have that, that vague armored subway car type of look to it. Um, spin it around one more time. Quick shot of some of the labels on the top here. So let's get on to the, uh, the thing itself. This is partially covering a mechanism, which we'll get to in a minute. So there, uh, there's the turtle shell itself. Now, one of the first really cool features of this, and I'm going to show it right off the bat because it makes showing off the rest of it a lot easier, is this door over here um, has a very special surprise. And some of you have probably already seen it. So, like, let's say Shredder comes walking up and is a little bewildered at why there is just a subway car parked in the middle of nowhere and wants to check it out. Well, there's a little button. This little piece right up here is a little button. And when you push it down, oh, out pops a Ninja Turtle and does some spinny flip kicks and uh, knocks poor Shredder onto the ground. So, uh, yeah, and that's fun. Me and Niblet have both been having a great time playing with this little feature all weekend. Um, and, and it's just a spring-loaded mechanism, and how it works is you uh, flip the... They say rot rotate it five to six times. You don't want to over-tighten it. And if you do over tighten it, you'll know because it'll click and you hear a click and the spring will unwind. So you just want to rotate it four or five times, just like that. And then while holding the turtle in place, just push it back. And you want to push right here because if you push on the turtle, you'll bend this uh, this thing. It already bends a little bit under the weight, but you'll really bend it if you try to force it in using the turtle. You want to push right here on the end of it and just push it in. And usually once I've got it in, the spring isn't all the way locked because it pushes them forward a little bit. Once they're in, I'll take the, I'll take the turtle and just push it back into here one more click, and then they'll hang straight and free uh, once that thing's clicked all the way back as far as it can be. And then, again, with the door open, you just it'll pop off with the door closed, but you just push this button, and you get some ninja action there. Kind of fun. And any, and any of the turtles can, can hawk on there. I put Mikey on because he is the shortest of the turtles, and if you... Uh, if you use somebody like Donatello, you might want to have to. You might bend his arms a little bit or bend his knees a little bit just to give him some clearance. Otherwise, he'll kind of scrape the the uh, the bottom of the thing if he starts getting going really fast. So th that's a little feature. But yeah, th this pops out. Uh, there's an opening panel up here on the top. Hold on. That yeah, flips open, and there's this gun up here, a little spring-loaded gun up here on top. Um, and you just push this, push this little button right here on top, and it shoots a little missile, uh, just a little kind of battering ram type missile. There's a gun, but you can have uh, the picture shows Donatello, so we'll go ahead and uh, show Donatello doing it. But any of the turtles, again, you can. There's a couple little pegs here on either side. You can just plug their hands onto it. Now, unfortunately, there's no seat under here that, that, that pops up. Donatello just kind of hangs there. But you can have a turtle manning that. Uh, it can carry... It can, you can fit all the turtles in April and Splinter in there. It can hold, like, eight figures if you really want to cram them in there. Uh, well, there's Donnie. There's Leonardo just came out of there. Uh, you store all your stuff. Uh, rafts inside here. Um, 
Mr. Sinister can hang out in, in there um, with his little, where is he? He's got his little paper head here. It's a hero click sinister that came without a head. I made a little paper head for him. I forgot he was sitting in there, but uh, okay. And then up in the front, the front door also opens up here. And here's Raphael hiding in the front, driving the thing. And there's a little peg here as well on the ramp. So again, like in the picture at the opening, you can kind of position him to be hanging out the door. You can put his foot right there on the ramp. Uh, he'd be pretending like he's hanging out the door. Um, or if you just want to have him standing on the ramp for whatever action sequence or whatever, if you just want to have it open and posing, you can have the turtle on the ramp. There is a little foot peg there to show them off, which is pretty cool. And again, these rails up here are also on the top of the same uh, type of material. Push this in. Not the type of material, same size. They're just the right size for a turtle to hang on to. So you can have them hanging off the side of the van. Um... So yeah, all in all, it's a really neat vehicle. Um, I almost didn't buy it at first because I thought it looked a little too boxy. And then um, I called Target to see if they had them in. And they said they did. And I, I said, can you tell me if you have this? And I gave them the DPCI number. And uh, they put me on hold for like eight minutes. And then when they came back on, they're like, oh, yeah, we have one. We're holding one for you back in the back room. And I'm like, oh, well, then I guess I better go get it because I, I felt bad. I was just trying to see if they had it. And they ended up pulling one out and holding it for me, so I went ahead and picked it up. It was something I was considering picking up, and I'm really glad I did because it really is a lot of fun. And like I said, uh, Niblet and I have had a great time all weekend just hanging out and playing with this thing. It's just a really it, – it's very reminiscent of the old school turtle vehicles while still being something new and different, and uh, and that's kind of cool. So let's get everybody back in here. do 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 Dun, dun, dun. Put them in there, close it up, and there you have it. The Ninja Turtles 2012 Shell Razor.